Hey, Tilda Club. Um, I had some people ask me about my planners, so I thought I would do a little video for you guys. I am um, going to show you the things that I'm using now. Excuse my red nose. I have uh, a little bit of a cold, I think. Um, <laughs> and so I'm going to show you the things that I'm using right now for my planners. I'm going to also go through a few different kinds of planners. I just happen to have a pile here that I bought for 2020 um, that I'm going to put together as a whole new planner for myself, but I'm not going to go into that yet today. Um, today we're just going to talk about basics and, um, how to get started with a planner. And I'm going to show you, um, how I do stuff in my planner and basically just how I decorate it right now. And then I'm going to do another video for you about, how to actually plan to get things done. Um, so how to project plan and how to actually um, increase your productivity by using the planner. So first of all, we're going to do the fun part, the decorating part. And um, because if you don't have a planner yet and you haven't done any of that, then you need to do that first. Um, really all you need to do, all you need to have is a notebook to plan. And um, I'm going to show you just a couple of things. Hey, Debbie. And um, I'm not sewing today. Sorry. This is just for planning and planners. And um, I had a couple of people in the club ask if, um, about planners. So um, that's what I'm going to be showing today. So if you came to look at, at uh, sewing, we're not, I'm not sewing today. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do some sewing this weekend uh, on this next weekend on Saturday, we're going to do a whole day of sewing. So, um, and I'm going to do a couple of things during the week as well, because, uh, I finally have a week when I'm not going crazy with working and stuff. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Debbie. So, um, just doing, I'm just going to show you guys my planners. So it's kind of fun just cause it's fun and cute, but if you're not into planners or you're not, don't want to be into planners, you're probably not going to be all that interested in this, but um, love to see you guys here anyway. Um, and I am going to, um, flip the camera around so I can show you guys the planners and, um, whoops, I should have put my stand up first before I did this. Um, so I spent the afternoon actually getting, um, all the links together and give me just a second. I will put up a PDF with links to, uh, resources for the planners, like all the different planners I have, the different stickers, the different tools and everything. I made a whole PDF for you guys so that you could find all of the items that I'm using. Ooh, cut out hexes. That sounds like fun. So, um, Oh, you use Happy Planner too. Okay, so yeah, I've been using a Happy Planner. I have been using planners for a few years, and I do all different kinds of planners. So I started out with, and like I was just saying a second ago, you can just use a notebook. This is a Rhodia notebook, um, which I happen to love. My daughter has one of these and uses it for her planner. Um, but all it is is just plain paper. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's just got dot a dot grid. And what I used to do is just draw out my own planner. So these are the days of the week. And um, that's how I used this notebook as a planner. So really, you don't have to have a special planner. You can just use a notebook if you want to. And I'm going to do a separate video. This video is just going to be about the planners and decorating and different planner um, tools that I use with my happy planners. Um, but I'm going to do another video about uh, productivity with your planner and for that one really all you need is a notebook so you don't have to go out and buy all these things these are just the things I'm using right now and I'm just showing you these because I had had people ask me what planner I use and how I use it and what tools I use with it and so um I wanted to show you guys because you know I like to share things with you guys <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. So um, give me just a second because I'm going to get on on my computer as well so that 
I can see your comments because right now my phone is on the stand and I can hardly see you guys. I'm turning on my laptop too, and I'm also doing this so that I can put the link for the um, I put the link for the resources in here for you because I can't do that from the phone. Okay, go over here and get the link. I made a PDF for you guys that you can download that's got a link to all of the planners that I'm going to show you and all the tools that I'm using. And I'm putting it in the comments right now. Hopefully it'll let me do that. There. Does it work as a link? Yep, there it goes. Okay. So there's a link to the PDF in the comments, and it's got links to all the different things that I'm going to show you guys. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you my planners. This is, um, I just created this uh, cover. My friend, um, Corey, is the Reset Girl. And this is from one of the collections that she designed or that she had designed. Um, and there's a link to her shop in the PDF that I just put up. Um, and I just used one of her designs as the cover and laminated it myself. These are my old, these are from July through October, um, my old planner pages. And I just wanted to show you them. So as you can see, I didn't do anything with my monthly on that one. This is a week where I decorated a little bit and didn't do much planning. <laughs> and this was before I really got into stickers. So I've, I've had stickers and I used them a little bit, but I never really got super excited about them until recently. And so I'm going to show you now this is the difference between this is the before me planner and this is the after sticker planner. So this is what my planners look more like now. Um, I put a lot more stickers in and I decorate them a lot more because it's more fun that way. Um, so here's another one. And as you can see, I've done a lot of planning on this on these pages. Um, here's another one. These are in September. And here's my October ones. more October and then let's see here's some November you can see I've done a lot more planning on these and a lot more stickers and things and I always had stickers I just never bothered to use them because I've always been a practical planner more than I've been a decorative planner um, but I'm really starting to do more decorating in my planner, and I really like the way it looks. So here is last week, or week before last, I should say. And this is now. This is this week. You can see there's a lot of planning on here. Um, it's probably hard to see because the green pen is hard to see on camera, but there's a lot of writing on here. <laughs> so this is when I've had a really busy week and I've got lots and lots of writing going on. This is all stuff that I decorated. Originally this page looked like this one with nothing on it, just the green color on the top. And I decorated it with the little girls and made it look all snowy and anyway, so I think that was fun. So I'm going to show you, I'll, I'm going to decorate this next week um, on camera with you guys today. But before I do that, I'm going to show you um, my different planners and different tools and things that I use for the planners. So the planner that I'm using right now is this one. It's an 18-month planner um, from Happy Planner. And these little girls are called the Squad Girls. So um, anything that has these girls on it is called Squad Life. And there's sticker books. This one is called the Squad Goals sticker book, and see it's got the same little girl, um, the girls that are doing things together, so that's why they're the Squad Girls. So 
This is the planner that they did for 18 months. It started last July. Um, I put a link to it on the PDF, but um, you can't find them as much anymore because, you know, they came out in July. So, um, right, I'm going to talk about the punch too, Bonnie. So, um, what I would suggest if you buy, pick a planner that you love the look of, um, take a look at the, at the pages. So this one for December, it has these cute little Christmas trees in the margin and each week, each, uh, week has those Christmas trees. This one has a little skiing girl on the side, but not every week has that. Some of them have a, something that a saying here down at the bottom or something. Um, and then each month is a little different. They have different designs on them. So, um, see, this is March. It's got little polka dots and, like, a little bucket with flowers. And then um, May has, probably has flowers. No, it's got polka dots, too. Let's see. There's, I know there's all different ones in here. So, I think February for certain has flowers. See, it's got flowers here on the month. And then here in the margins, it's got flowers. So, just pick one that you like. And if you've never used a planner before, you're going to just have to try it out and see what layout you like best. Personally, I am, for my weekly planning, I'm a vertical planner. I like planning this way where the days go across the top and I plan the day in a row down like this. Um, these work best for me, but there are different styles. There are ones that go across horizontally. People who like to journal sometimes like the horizontal ones because they can write out long sentences on them. The reason that I'm really enjoying using the Happy Planner now is, um, as opposed to the notebook, is that you can pull the pages out really easily and write on them. So if I say I'm writing over here and I run into the binding, I can just pull the page out really easy, write on it and put it really, put it back in super fast and easy. And I love that I can punch paper and put my own pages in, make my own pages, super easy. So they have a, they have two different size punches for the discs. This is called a disc binding system. These are called discs that, that hold the papers together. And they, um, my favorite discs are the metal discs. So sometimes the planner, this planner in particular actually came with these rainbow colored plastic discs. They work fine, but the metal ones are much slidier. I like that word, slidier. Um, so it's a lot easier to flip your pages on the metal discs than it is on the plastic discs. The plastic discs stick a little more, as you can see, like with that. And you have to kind of move them a little bit more than you do with the metal discs. So the metal discs make the pages easier to turn. So I would, if you get a planner that, has, that comes with the plastic discs, I would upgrade to the metal discs if you can. Um... If you buy the deluxe planners, they call them deluxe planners if they come with the metal discs already on them. This was a deluxe planner. It came with the metal discs. Um, and I'll show you that one in a second. Um, but talking about punches, this is the large punch. This is for, they have, this size planner is called the classic size, which is a little bit smaller than a letter size. Um, they have a letter size planner, but mostly they use those just for memory keeping. So those are for people who like to do scrapbooking. Um, they do make actual planners in the large size, but uh, not very many of them and not in very many different um, configurations. So most of the planners come in this size, which is classic. This is the large punch. I got that on purpose because I wanted to be able to punch letter size uh, pages as well as uh, planner pages um, because I actually use disc binding for making note pages and if I take classes online I can print my uh, workbooks for the classes and put them onto a disc system and bind them myself. So this if I put the the classic size paper in between these two lines if you can see this 
there's a line here and here, and that's the happy planner size. And if I put them in there, it will come out so that it goes directly onto this um, system. So I if I take a page like this and put it between those two lines and punch it, it punches so that it will fit onto the discs like this. Um, there is another size punch. I've put the links to both of those in that uh, that link that I put up for you, the PDF. So there is the classic size punch is a turquoise color and that one fits these pages perfectly. But as I said, this one you can print, you can um, punch your letter size pages and use them in notebooks if you want to. So that's what the punch is for. It's also great if you want to add your own pages. I'm going to be making project pages for you guys and you can punch them and put them onto discs like this if you want to or just you know put them into a regular notebook if you want to, however you want to do it. But um, anyway, that's a good item to have, a good tool. Um, the other punch that I have is this one and this actually punches um, rectangles that fit into these uh, vertical boxes that are in the planner. So you can take um, cardstock or um, scrapbook paper and punch it with this. You can see what you're punching by opening this little window here on the top. And so this is Christmas paper that I'm actually gonna use in my planner. And I'm gonna put it in there and figure out where I wanna punch it to get the picture that I want. I think I want that little mint mitten and that Christmas ornament. Can you guys see that there? Yeah. And so I'm gonna go ahead and punch it like this. And what that does is then cuts me a little rectangle that fits right into that box. So I can use it as a sticker in my planner. This is not necessary. Actually, none of these things are necessary, including the planner. Like I said, you can use a notebook, but um, it's a fun thing to have if you like to make your own designs. So that's the other fun thing. My favorite pens right now, I thought I would just tell you about that. My favorite pens are these Sarasa ballpoint pens. They are really pretty colors. I just showed you the one that I'm using this week is this green one. Um, which is kind of a tealy, light green color. Um, they come in all of these. Well, they come in lots of other colors too, but I like these pastel colors. This comes in a set, and I put the link in there as well. So these are the ones that I've been using in my planner for the past, past few months. So I use the green one on this, and if you look in the past pages here... Um, this one I used the orange, and this one I used the pink, and so those are the pens that I've been using for the last few months. And the other pens that I like, and I don't have them here, I thought that they were in this roll, but they aren't, um, are called mild liner pens, and they are highlighters that are in pastel colors, so they're very light, and... Um, you can highlight in your planner and still be able to read through it, which is nice. So you can write in it with a regular pen and then highlight whatever you're writing. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Robin. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, those are the pens that I like, and I've put links to those on, in the PDF as well. The other thing that you might want to have if you're not a paper crafter and don't already have this is a paper cutter. So this is my paper trimmer. It is um, by Fiskars. You can flip out this side piece and it makes it wider so that you can, hopefully you can see all of this. It's hard to tell with my phone. Anyway, um, so you can see it, that it's wider. And let me get this paper here. So this is a piece of regular letter size paper and you can see that the planner paper is smaller than letter size when you look at it. So you would need to, if you're going to print something for yourself, you would need a paper trimmer like this. Or 
If you have an old rotary cutter, an old rotary cutter blade, sometimes I use my rotary cutter to cut paper. You cut it the same way you cut fabric. Um, and I just mark with a Sharpie on any blade that I've used to cut paper with. And I just mark paper on it and use it and cut it just the same way that I cut fabric. So I know that's crazy, but that's what I do. So um, if you have an old rotary cutter blade, it's a great thing to use on paper. And then you don't have to buy a paper trimmer, but the paper trimmer works great too. So there's that paper trimmer. And here's a couple of the other tools that I have linked in there. This is a slice, which is, it's basically, I'm sure you guys know these old um, X-Acto knife, right? And I don't know why, but these always make me nervous because they're razor blades and they're scary. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think they're scary. Anyway, the slice tool is the same thing as an X-Acto knife, only it's got a ceramic blade. The ceramic blade doesn't cut me when I do this. <laughs> like the X-Acto knife would do. Um, but it works just like the X-Acto knife on paper. So you can trim with it and it's a little less dangerous than the X-Acto knife. And the other thing I have is a pair of tweezers and that's for picking up little edges of um, stickers if I've cut them off or you know, um, placing things that are really small because I have fingernails and sometimes it's hard to do that. So those are the other tools that I use. I'm going really fast here, but like I said, if you, if you download the PDF, there's a link to everything in there that I'm talking about. Let me plug in my phone so I don't run out of juice. Hopefully that worked. Okay, so... Next, I am going to talk about the different kinds of planners. So like I said, this is a vertical, a vertical lined, um, and I've put links to two. This one specifically, even though it's the 18 month and six months of it is gone already. And then the new version for 2020, one of the new versions for 2020 I put in there. So this one is called the Home Body Planner. Um, it's just called that because of the designs that they used in it. Um, it's kind of farmhouse style, um, and I love it because I love all the pretty florals that are in it. Each of the dashboards is really pretty. It's got cute sayings on it. Um, the version of the layout is called a dashboard layout. Um, so let me show you the difference. This would be your week in a dashboard layout where it has um, your Monday through Sunday laid out this way. And this is a vertical where your Monday through Sunday goes this direction. And that's the one that I like to use, the vertical. Um, but this is something I'm going to use for next year. Um, so the four planners that I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to do what they call Frank Franken planner with them. What I'm going to do is take um, them apart and use the weeks from each one for different things. So I'm going to use the dashboard layout for one thing. I'm going to use the vertical layout for one thing, and then and so on. So I have a few different things that I'm going to do with them that uh, are different from the way I'm planning this year. And I will show you guys how I'm doing all of that too as I do it. Um, if you're interested, but um, anyway, it gives you a checklist on this side, Aaron's checklist. It's got um, a place for you to write notes, and then it's got your regular plan regular planning part over here. It even has a place for you to put um, your plans for dinners there, which um, I'm probably not going to use that for. But anyway, um, so I'm just showing you these because. Sometimes you just have an affinity for a different kind of layout than, uh, than what I'm showing. So I'm showing you all the different layouts that I have. I don't have every layout. They have a billion different kinds of layouts, but okay, maybe not a billion, but there's probably at least 10 or 20. Anyway, um, so this is a second planner. This one is a, called a monthly layout. So you have your regular month um, at a glance here, 
And then here you have your intentions for the month. So you would write out what you plan on doing for the month. And this is what the layout looks like. There's nothing that says Monday through Friday. It's called a daily list and it's just got checklists, just a bunch of checklists. And so you can number it however you like. You can um, put the days in however you like, and every page is exactly like this. So there's no, uh, there's no dating on those pages. The only dates that you'll see are at the beginning of the month. And this is called a monthly layout, where it just has a checklist. And I thought this was really strange, and then I thought of a really good use for it. So you'll see how I use that um, in another video. Um, and this is an hourly, which I'm sure you know what an hourly is. It's vertical, just like I like to use, where it goes Monday through Sunday vertical um, across. And it's got an hourly layout so that you can write down what you're doing each hour of the day. Oh, you've been using the monthly layout. How do you like it? How do you like the check boxes, Bonnie? Is it hard to decorate? Because I see there's not a lot of space to decorate. <laughs> you were saying you don't do a lot of decorating. Um, so this is an hourly. And the new planning system that I'm using uses an hourly um, system. So that's going to work really well for me. So those are regular planners. And this one is my wellness planner. So I think you guys know um, I've lost 140 pounds this year. And um, so I want to keep up with staying healthy. And so this is a planner for helping you to stay healthy. So it's not just for regular planning. Um, in a way, it is like a vertical layout where it goes Monday through Sunday across the top. But each section is different from like planning your day, your normal day. So the top section says intention. The next one says nourish where you can put um, what you've eaten. Um, the next one says movement. So you can put in your exercise there. And then on the bottom it says take note. And it says reflection. Today was thankful for. So down here you can do some journaling. Um, so... Even though I don't have a lot of time in my day, I have discovered that if I spend a half an hour before I go to bed at night writing down and journaling things, um, I sleep much better at night. I used to keep things in my head and um, I'd wake up in the middle of the night with lists of things to do and um, just thinking about things and I have found that if I journal before I go to bed, I don't have that problem. I actually sleep through the night, which is amazing for me because I am kind of an insomniac. So um, that's the other, that's the last planner that I have for um, 2020. And in another video, I will show you guys how I'm going to put all of those planners together to make them all work together. Also, Happy Planner has notebooks. Um, I've been carrying around this small mini notebook in my purse. And I just wanted to show that to you to show you that you can use... Um, the punch, if you decide to get one to make notebooks, this has just a uh, dot grid paper in it for um, writing down and taking notes. And so um, I really like that because I like being able to move the pages around. I want to be able to just open my notebook and take a note and not worry about what section of my notebook it's going to go into. And this way I can just take a note and if it doesn't go in the section I wrote it in, I can just pull it out really easy, move it to another section and pop it right back in just like that. Just simple and easy and I really love that about this as a notebook. And it's not a big, you know, three ring binder or whatever. It's easy to carry around in my purse. Okay, so there's that. You use daily, the daily pages in the monthly, oh, the daily, like the daily lists in the monthly layout for your crafting stuff. Oh, that's great, Bonnie. 
It's don't you feel so much better from losing weight, man? I feel so much better. So, um, oh, this is the dashboard one. Let's go back to. So Bonnie's talking about the daily pages, which are these. So you use these pages for your um, crafting, is what you were saying. So anyway, I'm pretty excited to use the new um, planners, but they don't start until 2020. And I have decided that I'm going to hold out and use them in 2020 because it's kind of like giving myself a reward. <laughs> Those are my uh, Christmas present to myself. So what I'm going to do right now is just start working on my planner for this week. And thankfully, it is not a crazy week like last week. Last week was nuts. I had not five seconds in my day. Let me show you again what my planner looked like last week. So a lot of this is stickers, but if you can see this, I actually have everything written down by half hours here. I mean, it was nuts. So it was crazy busy and I'm super tired and I can't wait for this week to start so I have a little bit of time off. Um, and also, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see this. Turn the camera around. Nope, that was not the thing I meant to do. I meant to do this. Can you see that pile right there? That's all fat quarters that I have to fold for you guys. <laughs> so that's what's going on this week. Um, folding fat quarters and, and packing boxes for you guys. So that should be fun. Okay, so uh, since I only have three weeks of this month to do Christmas fun planning stuff, I'm going to use, this is the seasonal sticker book from Happy Planner, and I, did I bring my, I didn't bring any of my Reset Girl stuff in, but um, I put a link to the Reset Girl, which is my friend that I was telling you about. She has stickers that you can buy, and um, download and print yourself onto sticker paper. Last year I bought all of these super cute Christmas, um, it's called Santa Baby, and I bought like the whole line and then I never used any of it and I love it because I love Victorian pink and green Christmas. So this is my cute Christmas uh, scrapbooking paper collection that I bought last year. And I only have three weeks left to use it, so I'm going to use some of it in my planner this week. So even though these are not actually for planners, they're actually for scrapbookers, I'm going to use them because they're so pretty and they're so cute and I love them. Okay, so I'm going to do pink and mint green for my planner this week. And I brought all of these sticker books in because they have things in them that I might want to use. So this is the seasonal sticker book, and it's got Christmas stuff, um, super fun Christmas stickers, and it also has um, Halloween and um, Easter and Fourth of July. So seasonal as in holidays is what this sticker book has. This is the farmhouse sticker book, and it's got lots of pretty florals and pretty colors. Mint green is what I was looking at in here, so it's got some of the color that I want to use in it. This is the homebody sticker book, which actually goes with one of the new planners that I just bought. And it's got lots of mint green in it, and so I'm going to use that. And then this is the squad girls squad goals um, sticker book and it's got some a little bit of Christmas left because I used it last Christmas too. The thing with Happy Planner is they don't come out with a million sticker books. They come out with um, a few every year but they also keep printing the older ones which is kind of fun um, especially if you have some that you really like. So you know you never have to feel like it's not like fabric where you have a season and it goes out of style. You can kind of keep using them for years and years like these ones I had last year and I'm still using them this year and I love them still and it's all good. So, um, this one is the winter one, which I love. It's got 
um, some mint green and some icy blue and so lots of pretty colors in that one and this one is the dream seeker one and I've got these are just a few of my sticker books I've actually got way more than this plus I've got a whole uh, I, I'm terrible I am such a hoarder when it comes to stickers but got a ton of stickers on um, my shelves. Aha, here we go. So my friend Corey, who has the Reset Girl, this is some of what she has. She does vintage looking um, stuff. So she's got, if you remember the um, like simplicity and McCall's patterns from when we were kids, she's got girls that look like those, the girls that were on the cover of those and stuff like that. So her stuff is really fun too. Anyway, so these are my sticker books that I'm going to be looking through to do my decorating in my planner this week. And I am also going to, as I said, do another video. I'm going to do this one and then tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Hobby Lobby can get you into trouble with those, Bonnie. <laughs> um, so... I am going to do some decorating and then probably tomorrow I will talk about productivity and my new system for getting stuff done because it really works. And if you have projects like quilting projects that you want to get done, it will help you to get those projects done. At least I think it will. So now I'm going to try and decorate and I am not super fast at this so I'm just gonna mess around and you guys can watch me just messing around doing my thing here so this has some peach on it it says spread joy right here which I love the sentiment but I don't want this I don't want peach on on this week I want it to be mint and pink and I know that there was a sticker in one of these that I wanted to cover that with and now I've got to find it I love these. Look at this. Spread joy. Isn't that sweet? Maybe I'll use... I like that one. Merry, Merry Christmas. Let's see what else. These aren't exactly Christmas books but because they have the mint green and the pink in them I thought it would be I could probably find some things in here that I want to use I like that happy and grateful Hmm. Yeah, you know, there are a couple of things that people, um, like, I look through their stick these sticker books, and sometimes I read this book, um, and this is in response to Bonnie. <laughs> I read this book. Um, a few months ago called Crash the Chatterbox and it is about not letting negative um, things that go through your head not dwelling on the on negative thoughts and and only thinking and not in a um, uh, 
you know, silly way, but only thinking on positive things or really dwelling on positive things. And so there's one thing that really, I don't know why it bothers me, but there's a, there's these stickers in one of the books that say, bless this hot mess. And to me, that's like, I'm not a hot mess. I don't want it to say that I'm a hot mess and I'm, this isn't a hot mess. And so I, it, sometimes some of the things that are supposed to be positive, they don't sound, they're not really positive to me. So I have to, um, I want to go through all of the books and get rid of all the ones that I think aren't like, they just don't, don't sound right to me. Like bless this hot mess. I'm not a hot mess and I don't want, I don't want to say that I'm a hot mess or have that in my head, you know, got to think, got to think good things always. There's so many cute stickers in here. It's so hard to decide. This is, this is the worst part, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Or the best part. It's the fun part. Kind of like when you're um, picking out fabrics for, your, for a new quilt, right? It's like, oh, but what if I did this? I know exactly which one I'm looking for. I just have to find it. I think I'm going to use this one. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. But I need something else to cover it because it doesn't cover the whole thing. I need a mint green box. Let's see. I think I'll use this one. It says to do and I don't use it to do boxes very often. So I'm going to cover that with the green doesn't quite cover all of it, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put the pink over it. Oh, you don't have to um, plan weekly? See, planning for me is fun. It's like, it's kind of like making a quilt. So I like that I do it weekly. Um, I actually do my planning on Sundays. And that's the reason we're doing this video today because um, Sunday is usually my rest day. And to me, this is a fun thing to do. So um, yeah, so I don't mind doing my planning every week. And as a matter of fact, if you keep your, if you keep your focus and... Sorry, I'm just looking at stickers and reading them. Um, and keep looking at your planner. You actually get more done because if you don't actually use your planner, then it doesn't make you don't you don't get to be as productive. Or at least I don't. For me, if I haven't looked at my planner in a couple days, I start to feel a little out of control. Ooh, there's so many pretty things in here. Okay, I think I'm going to use this because it's so cute with the little hot chocolate mugs. I really like the stitching print on the back too. Can you see that? It's metallic. It's got pink metal on it. So pretty. I haven't even been using this. This is the first time I'm going to use this for my planner. This punch. I've had it for a little while. I think I want to cut out the little mugs, the flowers. It's so cute. I like this better than that one. That one's too dark. Oh, I know what I forgot to put on that list. Glue. Give me one second. I'm going to get a glue stick.
I actually have a planner glue stick that smells really good. It smells like strawberries. <laughs> but I'm just using my little Tim Holtz one here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I know where that sticker was that I was looking for. It's actually on this sticker sheet here. Hmm. I might have to change it out. This little sticker sheet has a little sticker on it here that says joyful right there. And it's in pink with aqua minty color writing on it. Peel this one up. Yep. doesn't matter that this one is not coming up perfectly because I'm going to cover it up anyway. Oh, I just saw your question, Bonnie. Did you see that I have a glue stick? So I'm using this collage glue stick from Tim Holtz, but they have um, a planner glue stick that works really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think of the brand. I think it's Prima. Yeah, Prima. So um, you can look on scrapbook.com or something like that. Prima, Prima planner glue stick. So that's pretty. See, it says joyful there now. And this little bundle was some ladies that I met at a planner meetup last year. She gave me these little... Look how adorable. So cute. This little, um, what are these called? Um, die cuts, yeah little oh that's so pretty look at that flower mm, doesn't quite match what I'm doing though but this little girl does this is what I was looking for this cute little girl and this little mug because they're pink and mint green which is perfect I pulled these out earlier because I knew that those were in there who knows how this is going to come out I'm usually like really slow at designing stuff because I want it to be perfect but that's why this is something I love doing on Sundays because I get to just play and not have to worry about it how much time it's taking because it doesn't matter cute little girl and then because this is my play time is anybody sewing today other than Bonnie who's cutting out hexies Oh, yeah, you have, is it a Zyron sticker maker? I have one of those, too. Um, the only time I don't use it is when, because I have, a, like, a smaller version. It, it only will fit, like, an inch and a half uh, piece through it. So um, if I have pieces that are bigger, I use glue. These ones would fit through it, but I don't know where it's at right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, look at the Santa. How cute is that? Hmm, now do I use the Santa or do I use the girl? You guys vote. Santa or girl? Santa's so cute. Oh, look at that.
These are so cute. See, now how am I going to use up all of this cute stuff? I've only got three weeks. Guess I'll save some for next year. <laughs> oh, look at this hot cocoa mug. So cute. That's cute. Oh, look at this little pink Christmas tree. I bought, um, before I got married, I had a, my Christmas tree was pink. I mean, it wasn't a pink tree, but it was uh, pink Christmas ornaments. And, oh, these flowers are so pretty. Look at these little deer. Aren't they cute? So I decided this year that I want to have pink ornaments on a, on a tree again. So I have a little mini tree, and I bought some vintage pink uh, Victorian vintage ornaments. And I'm going to have a little pink tree again this year. We don't have enough room in the house right now with all of the shop stuff here and all of the tilde fabric here <laughs> to put the Christmas tree up. So we're going to have the mini tree on the kitchen table. Okay, which of these pieces am I going to use? What do you think, you guys? Do I use Santa or do I use the cute little girl? Or do I use both? <laughs> they don't really match, but that's okay. One can go on one page and one can go on the other page. I think Santa can go right here. I love this little pink Christmas tree. Santa, Santa, Santa. <laughs> okay, we'll do Santa. And the little girl can wait for next year or next month or next week, maybe. By the time I had seen this, um, this collection, this Santa collection, it's called Santa Baby. By the time I had seen it, it was mostly sold out everywhere. So I had a hard time finding all the pieces, but I did find them because I liked them so much. Okay, Santa's going on. We're going to put Santa over here in the notes section so that he's not covering anybody up or covering up any of the days. And I'm going to put, since these little flowers match the Santa, I'm going to put them up here so that we balance out our page. They're so pretty. I'm so excited I get to use this collection. And then I love this little banner. And I usually do banners across the weekend. So I might put it there. I don't think I'm going to use this. I might use the little mug. Let's see. I like the mitten too. So this is just a little sticky note and I take the sticky notes and if it's before the week and I haven't planned yet or I haven't decorated yet, I just put sticky notes on things that I need to remember. So this is our live sewing for next Saturday. <laughs> I just put it on there to make sure I don't forget to, to write it in the planner when I get ready to actually do the planning part. Hmm. 
put that there, put the Christmas tree. Where do I want the tree? Maybe here, or maybe over here. <laughs> Not sure yet. And this is a little sticker book or sticker sheet. It's got all kinds of cute little stickers on it. This one's got a little um, checklist. So I think I'll put a checklist over here. Let's see, we've got this box here, so maybe I'll put the checklist here. I don't need to check this on Saturday, though. I'll probably need a checklist for Friday. Maybe I'll put it down. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Maybe I'll put it right here. some sparkles on. Sparkly snowflakes. I guess I gotta be careful with these. They want to tear. Not a big glitter fan, but there's something about glitter at Christmas time. I think we all need some pink glitter at Christmas time. I ripped that one. That's okay, that means it's just going off the page. Put it this way. Now I need some more on the other page. Give it some balance. Didn't really have an idea of what I was gonna do today, so I'm just kind of winging it here. So on my blog, if you guys, um, should be a link on my, on the website, if you're interested on my blog, I have links to, um, stickers that I designed last year for the 
quilters planner. Um, I think most of the box stickers should fit pretty well into the happy planner. I haven't actually checked it out to see, but, um, I think they will. Hmm. That's pretty. I think I'll finish that. And, okay, now I need to do some green. And I need to actually do some functional stuff. So, let's find some green boxes. too dark. This is cute. So this one is mint green and it says ho, ho, ho. So that goes good with our Santa. I'm just gonna get it straight. My boxes have lines on them so it makes it easy to get my stickers straight. And I know there was another one in here that said something about joy. So I wanna find that one and put it on here cause you know I'm all about the joy. I have one here that says peace, love, and joy. So that one's nice. But I think there was another one that was similar to the same size as that ho, ho, ho. There it is, spread joy, I like that. So I'm gonna put that one on. I think I'll put it up here. So that it kind of balances out with this other pink one on this side. And then I need another green one for this side. It's not Happy New Year yet. There's one with cookies on it. Well, that's cute. Look at this one. It says comfort and joy. That's pretty. But I've already got pink ones. I don't need another pink one. I need green. So here's one that says bring on the sweaters. Tis the season for freezing. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll put... Yeah, I like that. Tis the season for freezing because that's kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> I'm cold all the time. Or... No, I think I need... Gather, give, grow. I like that. Maybe that one. How does this look with this? It's the right color. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit greener. Probably here. Got it a little sideways, but that's okay. Actually, it's not. I need to fix that if I can. It's probably not going to want to come up. Nah, oh well. I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll put the tree next to it. Yeah, that's cute. See, I don't have a plan. I just do it. I mean, I have a plan, but I don't have a plan for the plan. 
I don't have a plan for the planner. Okay, now, should I put this here or not? Right there, maybe right there. That'd be cute. I can put lots of stuff over here on the weekend because I don't make a lot of plans for the weekends. Just church and next week sewing with you guys. So. so this is what I call plannering. This is not planning, it's plannering. The next video I do, probably tomorrow, will be planning, which is different from plannering. Plannering is when you just decorate your planner and make it look pretty. Planning is when you actually plan to get something done. There. Okay, and I think it needs just a couple more snowflakes. Does it need gold snowflakes? No, it needs more pink snowflakes, I think. Just one or two, or ten. One more and then I'm done. There, now it's all sparkly and pretty. like it needs something more here but I'll figure that out it even looks cute with these little trees need something to cover the notes thing that's right here though I think not that it matters that it says notes but it's not the right colors do, do, do. This says Mary on it. Okay. 
this away. I don't really like the way it looks all straight like that, so I'm going to give it a little flare. Bye, Bonnie. Sorry I missed you when you left. Let's see if I can peel that up. There, that looks better. Well, let's see. Okay, that's all stuck down. Good. Okay. So, that's it. I'm just going to close everything up here. I feel like I talked super fast in the beginning about the planners, but anyway. So, this is going to be for my next week, and... I'm going to talk about how I plan a month for projects in the next video about planners. Then I'm going to do a couple of sewing videos this week as well. And then next Saturday, we're going to sew together all day long. So I will see you then. And you will hear from me this week in an email tomorrow um, with an update about everything that's going on. And so I am going to sign off. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.